Hi everyone and welcome to another Intro to Signal Analysis video. The topic of this video is sketching numbers in the complex plane. It's a short video and it's intended to resolve a few questions that you might have about um, the labeling of the axes on these particular sketches. So let's get started. Okay, so our task for, um, for this short example is to sketch the complex number z is equal to e to the minus j 3 pi over 2. So let's first start. This is in polar format, so that's the best format for doing these type of sketches. Let me just rewrite it to highlight that there's uh, really a 1 in front of here, right? And that is r. And this is theta. So r, which will be the length of the vector that we're sketching, is equal to 1. And theta is equal to minus 3 pi over 2. So this is in the standard polar format of r e to the j theta, where r is 1 and theta is minus 3 pi over 2. Okay, so now we have two plots um, down here. I'm going to do the sketch on this one first. Um, this is the standard type plot um, that I use when I'm doing sketches uh, by hand in class. Um, and the real axis for this, it's a in the form of a cross. The real axis um, is along the x-axis, and it's labeled over here. And the imaginary axis is along the y-axis. And they cross in the center at the point 0, 0. Okay, so um, I'm going to sketch the vector corresponding to this complex number. So um, the radius we know is 1, so the vector will have a length of 1. Um, and the angle is minus 3 pi over 2. Now we always measure the angle from the real axis. If it's a positive angle, we go around counterclockwise. If it's a negative angle, we go around clockwise. So here it's a negative angle, so we have to go around by pi over 2. That would bring us to here. Then by another pi over 2, that brings us to pi, which is here. And then by another pi over 2, which brings us to 3 pi over 2. So we've gone around by minus 3 pi over 2, and we end up here. Um, so I can just sketch my little vector. It's the vector that runs from 0, from the origin, um, up the uh, vertical axis to 1, because it has a length of 1, and we're at the angle 3 pi over 2. So that's an, a very easy sketch to do. Okay, and that's the way I typically do them in class when I'm, because this is the easiest form of axis to sketch when you're doing it by hand. Now, if I move to doing it um, using a plotting program, like MATLAB, for instance, and I've set up a, just a standard um, plot um, over here, which has some grid lines on it, um, then the labeling is a little different. The orientation of the plot is exactly the same. So let me first point out, here is the 0, 0 point on this plot, which is the same as the 0, 0 point there. And then I'm looking at... Um, how the axes are labeled. It's convention uh, when doing a plot in a plotting program that the x-axis label will be written down at the bottom of the plot box. So the real axis. That means this is the real axis and it goes from left to right, which is exactly the same as this real axis. The imaginary axis is the vertical axis, so it's going right up here through the origin. And the convention is to label the imaginary axis on the left side of the plot box. So even though the labels for the, these axes are in different positions, the actual axes themselves, the real axis is still the horizontal axis, the imaginary axis is still the vertical axis. Okay, so we haven't changed the orientation of the plot at all. In one case, the labels are here and here. In the other case, the labels are here and here. But I hope this won't cause any confusion. So if we do the sketch of this same complex number, e to the minus uh, j 3 pi over 2 over here, we will get exactly the same vector. Okay, and now I can see, first of all, I've got two sets of grid lines here. Right? I have a set of horizontal grid lines. I also have a set of radial lines. Right, The first radial line goes out with a radius of 1. The second radial line has a radius of 2, a radius of 3, 
a radius of 4, etc. So we know that this has a radius of 1, so it should intersect with the first radial line. Okay, so that is doing plots in the complex plane using either um, the standard cross for the plot, um, for the plot or uh, using a plot box done in a plotting program such as MATLAB. I hope that resolves any questions that you might have about doing these types of plots. Okay, so just brief credits for the video. It was made for the ECE 201 course at George Mason University in spring 2016. If you want more information about Mason, the Volgeno School of Engineering, our ECE department, or the person doing the video, that's me, um, you can check out these websites. Thanks for listening.